Good morning, Chargers. I'm Candy Sinnott, and this is the morning show on T CTN. I'm John Antonio. Today is Tuesday, March 31st, 2013. Joining us is Mrs. Ryan, who will lead us in prayers and pledge. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Tuesday of Holy Week. Let's begin this day with the sign of our faith. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. You went up to Jerusalem to suffer, and so enter into your glory. Bring your church to the Passover feast of heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. You were lifted high on the cross and pierced by the soldier's arrow. Heal our wounds. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. On the cross you forgave the repentant thief. Forgive us our sins. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. St. Peter the Apostle, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Face your flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. God bless America. And our student pledge, boys and girls, I will act in such a way that I will be proud of myself, and my family will be proud of me too. I came to school to learn, and I will learn something new each day. My actions will reflect concern for others, I will have an awesome day. Have a great Tuesday, everyone. Nick is here and hopefully has some good news for us. Nick? How's the weather out there today? Good morning, guys. Right now it's 39 degrees. Despite it being dry outside right now, we are anticipating the arrival of some thunderstorms this afternoon. The high today will be 56 degrees. Tomorrow we'll get our first full day of sunshine this week, and temperatures will begin to climb. I'm hoping things will stay warm over our ba break. Back to you. Thanks, Nick. Lunch today is popcorn chicken. Today is a tag day. Teachers, please remember to collect a dollar from each student who dressed down today. The cast of Annie Jr. will not rehearse today. The monthly awards ceremony will take place on Wednesday, April 1st at 2 p.m. In addition to our regular monthly awards, honor roll will also be announced at the ceremony. This is Tuesday of Holy Week. As you go through your days at school this week, we'd like you to put yourself in Jesus' shoes and think each day about how he felt, knowing that in, a few, in just a few days, he would be dying on the cross to save us from our sins. Here are today's scriptures. In the morning, as they went along, they saw the fig tree withered from the roots. Peter remembered and said to Jesus, Rabbi, look, the fig tree you cursed has withered. Jesus spent a lot of time on Tuesday in the temple, and Jesus told a lot of parables and was surrounded by the Pharisees 
and the holy leaders of the day and the common people who were there to celebrate and to worship. Jesus told several parables that day, one of which was the parable of the two sons, which goes like this. There was a man who had two sons. He went to the first and said, Son, go work today in the vineyard. I will not, he answered, but later he changed his mind and went. Then the father went to the other son and said the same thing. He answered, I will, sir, but he did not go. Which one of the two did what his father wanted? The first, they answered. Jesus said to them, Truly I tell you, the tax collectors and are entering the kingdom of God ahead of you. For John came to you to show you the way of righteousness, and you did not believe him. But the tax collectors and the other sinners did. And even after you saw this, you did not repent and believe him. In this parable, Jesus teaches us that the words we say have more meaning than we think, and that if we say we're going to do something, we should do it. As Jesus taught, Jesus said, Watch out for the teachers of the law. They like to walk around in flowing robes and be greeted in the marketplace, and have the most important seats in the, in the synagogues and the place of honor at banquets. They devour, they devour widows' houses, and for a shown make lengthy prayers. Such men will be punished most severely. Jesus sat down opposite the place where the offerings were put and watched the crowd putting their money into the temple treasury. Many rich people threw in large amounts, but a poor widow came and put in two very small copper coins, worth only a fraction of a penny. Calling his disciples to him, Jesus said, I tell you the truth. This poor widow has put more into the treasuring than all the others. They all gave out their wealth. But she, out of, po out of her poverty, put in everything, all she had to live on. Then they looked for a way to arrest him, because they knew he had spoken the parable against them. But they were afraid of the crowd, so they left him and went away. All day on Tuesday, Christ was surrounded by the people who were going to crucify him, and yet he still loved them and was trying to show them what was going to come, his love. It takes us realize that Christ loves not only who we are, but also who we've been and who we will become. As, you, as we leave today, think about this. Imagine what it would be like being surrounded by a group of people who are going to crucify you in a few days. Would you be able to teach them and continue to love them as Christ did? Think to yourself how powerful must Christ's love have, have been to be able to do that. Thanks for watching. Well, We'll see you tomorrow as we count down the start of spring break.